call your council person and find out where they stand because the vote is on Tuesday. In Operation Crime and Justice, some community advocates tonight weighing in ahead of Metro Council vote tomorrow to expand surveillance technology across the city. If approved, Metro Police would be allowed to access private cameras if the owners agree. Fox 17 News Kylie Walker joining us live from the Metro Courthouse with the debate and what's on the table tomorrow night. Kylie. That's right now deferred multiple times by Metro Council. The city has now heard from MMPD and dozens of residents both for and against the contract. Now those who support it fear that this could really help improve public safety while critics fear government overreach. The Fuse's camera network lets police monitor outdoor cameras from private businesses with permission. The homicides in Nashville are ridiculous um, and it's time that we protect the general public. Verna Wyatt with Tennessee Voices for Victims is advocating for the use of this technology alongside Metro Police. These are my neighbors around here and I know that they're in favor of it. So people, council people are voting against it when their constituents are for it and people need to be in the know. Ahead of the vote, several groups, including Nashville NAACP and Community Oversight Now, are urging the city to reject MMPD's request over concerns that this technology will promote racial profiling. My fear is what are the possibilities going into January? With talks of mass deportation, last month, Councilmember Sandra Sepulveda raised concerns over the impacts of this technology. What's to stop the federal government from giving ICE the power of saying there is probable cause that this technology that is being housed in MMPD precinct would be used to try and, let's say, harbor undocumented people. Deputy Chief Chris Gilder from Metro Police referring to a recent shooting incident where an MMPD officer reviewed video footage inside a Kroger watching them play back video and on the radio trying to call out to the other officers who were responding to this call what the suspect uh, looked like and what direction they fled in. That's the exact same thing that the person down in the community safety center could have been doing um, from the moment the call came out. Now keep in mind that meeting that we've been talking about that will be here at the Metro Courthouse tomorrow night at 630. So of course we will be watching this very closely for now reporting in Nashville. Kylie Walker, Fox 17 News, your code red station.